Okay, this lecture is all about borders. It's something that's uh, pretty common in CSS and a very important um, style for you to understand how to use properly because it's powerful. There are a lot of designs that use borders and it's quite simple, but there's, uh, there's quite a bit to it. So I wanna jump in and show you how to do that right away. Create a new file in your CSS folder and just call it borders.html. And go ahead and add that basic structure and change that title to borders. And we're going to reference the style sheet.css so that we could play around with that one instead. And we're going to add a bunch of HTML here that we're going to play around with. I'm going to start off with just a level one heading. Whoops, not a level 21 heading. Doesn't exist. CSS borders. We want to add that as a title and then we're going to add a bunch of divs here with uh, an ID and a class and we're going to use those to style to add some borders. And each of these boxes that I'm going to add here are going to, going to have specific styles and let you know what sorts of borders they're going to have. So let's add a div and give it the ID of box one and class we're going to say border dash box. Perfect. And then in here, I'm just going to add some text that says box with thin solid border. And I'm going to copy that and I'm just going to paste it a handful of times. Eight to be exact. And I'm going to change each of these to their uh, respective number. So box two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they have unique IDs. There we go. And the class can stay the same because we, as we know, classes can be globally used multiple times. And then we're going to change each of these, uh, the text here with the border that we're going to create in that div. So the second one will have box with a thin dashed border. And then the next one, number three, will have box with a thin dotted border. And then we're going to go to number four and that's going to be a thin double border. And then number five will actually be a thick solid border. The next one will be a thick dashed border. And then a thick dotted border. And then the last one will be a thick double border. Okay, now all we really need to do is go to our CSS, our stylesheet.css. And under the, the styles that we already added here, I'm gonna add a comment and say, CSS borders lecture. There we go, and I'm just gonna add some, some styles here. We're gonna select the border box, that's the class that is associated with all of the divs that we added. We're gonna have a background and say FC3. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. So we have uh, all of these boxes with that yellow orange color background. We're going to add some margin, 0, 0, 20. And this is 0 on top and 0 on left and right, 20 on the bottom. Padding will be 40 pixels on all sides. And the width, let's go for 320. Save that. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. Why don't we just make that text align center as well? There we go. And now what we're going to do is individually style each ID. So we have the box one. Now this is where I would do something like instead of adding just uh, you having the curly braces on separate lines with the styles in the center, I would probably do something like this just to keep the keep it a little bit more efficient because we're only going to be adding one line of code here. So we might as well just keep it on one line just to keep it uh, simple. So this would be border solid one pixel black. And that will give us for box number one, solid one pixel black. You can see it right there. And now I'm just gonna copy this and paste and change the number box two. This will be dashed. That's another value you can add one pixel black. That looks like this. There we go. The next one we have number three and that would be a dotted one pixel black border. There we go. 
Let's go for number four. That is a double one pixel black. Now, the thing with a double border is that there are actually two lines. So in order for you to be able to see a double border, which you cannot see here, let me just move that highlight. You can only see a solid line. Well, there are two lines there, but the total width of the border actually has to account for a one pixel border, a one pixel space, and another one pixel border in the very minimum, which means you need a minimum of three pixels here. And that will show you a double border. Let me move that highlight. There you go. And if you were to change that to something bigger like 10, you would see the double border even more and that's just taking up a 10 pixel space but let's go back to three okay we got box number five and that is going to be a solid four pixel black so this is just a, th a thick border there you go and we're going to add number six number six is going to be a dashed four pixel black border and we'll look like so and then we have number seven. Number seven will be a dotted four pixel black border. Make sure that's double T. There we go. And the last but not least, well, maybe least, I'd say double is the least used border. Double six pixels black. There we go. So there are your CSS borders.